Hello and welcome to the sixth and final instalment of our films as part of our Give Up Binning Food Instead campaign this Lent. I'm Sasha Wilkins, I'm the editor of LibertyLondonGirl.com and a cookbook writer and I've been working with the Love Food Hate Waste campaign to really raise awareness of the problem of edible food waste this Lent. Today we are going to be focusing on leftovers. I love the challenge of opening up a fridge and seeing what you can make. I think as a cook, making something delicious out of things that people might otherwise have thrown away is such a great thing to do. In fact, let's stop calling them leftovers and just call it food. Here we've got in front of us three lots of food, all of which can be used in different kinds of ways. We've got food that's left over from meals, we've got food that's the end of a run, so to speak, and then we've got food that we've got kicking around that needs to be used up. First of all, over here, we've actually got some cold mashed potatoes. We've got some feta and we've just got some chicken, all of which are in Tupperware in the fridge. So you know, what would you make with something like this? Well, the obvious thing that says to me here is something like bubble and squeak or a variation on a fish cake maybe, except it would be a chicken cake. So I think it's about being imaginative. Use lots of seasoning when you're using your leftovers because you often find that if food is one or two days old, the seasoning's not quite so strong. The second thing that I think is worthwhile is looking at how you can use food that's come to the end of its run in a kind of an imaginative manner. This is the heel of a piece of Parmigiano Reggiano from Italy. There's a little bit left that we can grate off this. But actually, what this really is, is a block of umami. And if you don't know what umami is, it's the fifth flavour along with salt, sweet, sour. And it adds richness and depth to food. So by adding parmesan to any kind of food, you're immediately giving it a lovely, almost meaty richness. So never throw away your parmesan heels. In fact, I freeze mine and bring them out for I'm going to have a big soup making session. So the third thing you want to look at is what to do with things that are sitting around in your fridge. And actually one solution I really love is keeping a very simple margarita base or sometimes just a plain um, dough base, like a flatbread, in the freezer and then adding toppings to it which might otherwise not get used. You know, half pepper from a salad, a courgette which definitely needs to be used up, some mushrooms, you know, olives which I had for a party for nibbles which is sort of now just sitting in brine and they will not keep forever. So I think this is a great way to come up with an impromptu supper. As I said in the intro, let's think of it not as leftovers, but just as food. Thank you so much for watching this series of films. It's been such an interesting topic to talk about with you all. We have appreciated every single comment and piece of interaction we've had. And please do keep the comments coming. The films will live on the Liberty London Girl Facebook page. We have blogged over on Liberty London Girl and of course the lovefoodhatewaste.com forward slash Lent site has all the tips that we've been collating over Lent, as well as the videos. So do take a look over there, and hopefully your habits this Lent will carry over for the rest of the year. Thank you again.